So you want to be able to relax the muscles of your back or mid portion of your back and you have no idea how to do it. That's the subject of this video, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture, Movement, and Chiropractic Clinic. One of the simplest ways to really get the muscles in your back and even the middle portion of your back relax is actually a lot simpler than you imagine. Go ahead and lay down. You can go ahead and do that with me as you're watching this video. Go ahead and lay down on the floor. And what you wanna do is you wanna elongate your spine. So if my spine is just, let me see if I can get this spine over here. If I get my spine, so imagine, and this poor spine's been abused too much. If my spine is right here and I am, I'm trying to not have this lifted up right here, which would be like right there. So what I'm trying to do is bring every part of my spine down and touch the floor, which I'm not so sure what I can do with the neck portion of this person. And this, this person is shorter than me. And when I say elongate your neck, that means don't have this curve here, just elongated like that. The positioning of the pelvis is important because as this person is laying down, the arch, the pelvis is not neutral. So you want to make sure that the pelvis becomes neutral. The way you're gonna make it become neutral is first of all, make sure this portion, the lower portion of your spine and the top portion of your pelvis is touching the floor. And then uh, let your brain see your, your pelvis, which is like a bowl, is the bowl tilting forward or too far backward. In this case, you can only go so far backward. So it's neutral, and then you place your hands kind of like this together at your spine. So imagine if I have my spine here, I'm placing one hand under here, the other hand under here, so the two of them are touching each other like that. And what I'm trying to do is to bring my spine and crush my hands, so to speak. So the pelvis is neutral, and I want to be able to feel pressure onto my hands, my fingers under my body without my rib cage lifting or with me doing this whole downward move of my rib cage. So everything is flat, my spine's elongated, my neck is elongated, my, my pelvis is neutral, and I'm applying pressure not because I'm sucking my tummy in. In fact, I'm making my tummy come out like as if I'm pregnant and that causes a circumferential expansion of my abdomen and it allows or pushes my muscles in the back to go down towards the floor. That's the opposite of arching your back which elong, I mean, shorten the muscles in the lower back and causing them contracted, which is the opposite of relaxation, obviously. This is a simple exercise. You should be able to do it. It may be challenging if you're so used to having hypertonic and tight muscles in your lower back with your proper breathing, which this involves breathing, you'll be able to uh, gradually relax those muscles. Of course, be aware of the activities that um, make those muscles um, get contracted and shortened, you should avoid. If you have any questions, use one of the methods of contact in the description box. If you have mid back or lower back issues, make sure you contact my office for an appointment or if any questions you may have. Until next time, take care.